Yeah, the joy of Japan is that you're safe, right? You can just yeah, put your exactly. bag there, not worry. Yeah, yeah. London, it's like, it's gone. No, <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Okay, so thank you for your time today. Um, could you tell me your names and where you're visiting from? I'm Stefano, I'm from Italy. And I'm Rebecca, from Italy again. Lovely, okay. And could you tell me um, why you're visiting Japan? For, uh, for leisure? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, because we saw Good a lot things. of... Uh, TikToks in the past few months <laughs> and we were like amazed mm -hmm. from this country and uh, for, uh, also uh, for the differences we can see in the cities like Tokyo is a, uh, a really big city mm -hmm. and here in Akone you have like more calm and uh, it's more like a landscape thing yeah. so we, we like this kind of uh, differences mm -hmm. between the cities yeah yeah yeah, yeah so yeah we are just uh, looking around uh, yeah. to see yeah okay. <laughs> okay could you tell me about your itinerary like your plan around Japan whilst you're here yeah we started in Tokyo now we are here in Hakone I yeah. think that's the pronunciation <laughs> yes. so uh, we are going to Kyoto in this afternoon so Osaka, Nara, uh, Hiroshima, Miyajima and then Tokyo again, maybe Nico. Yeah. Wow. yeah oh, that maybe. sounds wonderful. <laughs> maybe you squeeze yeah. it in. Yeah, yeah we, we will try because uh, we have a lot of things to, to see in Tokyo again. So we will try to see Nico as well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like a fantastic trip. Yeah. Um, what were some of the things that you really wanted to do whilst in Japan? Like it could be like your top three or five things that you just really had to see whilst in this country. Uh, so we wanted really to see Mount Fuji, but we were not able to see it because of the clouds yeah. today and yesterday. It was uh, very, very bad. And so let's hope uh, it's going to open <laughs> the sky. And I want to trade my Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah, you're a Pokemon fan. Yeah. yeah. And we are also here for the food because the right. food is really nice so we are um, we are eating like a lot of sushi mm -hmm. and uh, tomorrow we are um, uh, we are having uh, wagyu. Uh, the wagyu we are trying that okay. so yeah let's see how is it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. it's a t uh, totally different food from ours mm -hmm. so we are trying to uh, try all different kind of foods here Good. yeah adventurous yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's something that you've tried that really surprised you like maybe something you've never tried before? Uh, for me, Kazeki cuisine. Uh, Yesterday we tried in the hotel, in the hotel we were staying, and we had a proper Kazeki cuisine. And also this morning we had, the, I, I'm not saying Kazeki breakfast, but a typical Japanese breakfast. Yeah. That one was a bit difficult because <laughs> you have to eat rice and uh, fish in the morning okay. and we are not used to that but we tried and okay. it was good it was fine yeah okay. so i'm sensing that you stayed in a ryokan a japanese hotel yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, yes. so nice in uh, yeah we in uh, tokyo we stayed in a proper western hotel mm -hmm. and uh, this one and in uh, kyoto and also in tokyo they are yeah. ryokan yeah Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, could you tell me a bit about um, your impression of the Ryokan experience? Like, because from my perspective, I'd go to a hotel so that I could go around the area. But with the Ryokan, I felt like I go to the Ryokan and that's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So could you tell me your thoughts on, on that? Yeah. Uh, to, uh, yesterday, we were in this Ryokan in Nakone and we eat uh, very early. Yeah. Uh, so uh, six. 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 Uh, six. So we stayed in the Ryokan. We had the onsen, uh, at the bath, yeah. and we stayed in the hotel because yeah. the, at the night uh, there were no no things to do. And, like you have to stay there, and also we had the onsen. Uh, uh, the onsen there so you can also relax uh, and uh, like time has stopped yesterday yeah. <laughs> instead in Tokyo you have uh, to do a lot of things you keep going out and everything is open during night but here is more like a calm and uh, relaxing yeah. <laughs> day <laughs> yeah yeah that's I think you you understand it's like that's the idea behind the Ryokan it's like not going out and doing yeah. stuff but just yeah leave the outside world outside kind yeah. of thing yeah the proper like experience japanese experience here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and earlier you mentioned that the breakfast was a bit difficult um is that because like do you usually eat 
slightly different things? Yeah. I mean, uh, in Italy, we have like uh, um, a like sweet, sweet uh, breakfast. breakfast. Okay. You can also have um, more sour, uh, savory breakfast. Mm. But it's not like a thing for us. Yeah. It's just like having cereals uh, yeah. and jam and uh, yogurts. yogurts. Yeah. And here we today we had like rice, mm. salmon, uh, some vegetables, uh -huh. tofu. Uh, tofu with soy sauce. So it was a quite challenging yeah. <laughs> for us to I try. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we are here for that. So we tried and we liked it. Good. Yeah. yeah. It's fun to try different things, even yeah. if you're not going to do it every day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just do yeah. this today and then that's it. It's an experience to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah lovely. Okay, um, do you have any other points to make about your time here? Like the cultural differences or things that you've noticed oh, so the far? <laughs> we yeah. We saw like old people uh, from all over the places we have been, they are really kind. Like uh, they keep saying thank you arigato, and arigato. arigato and, and they appreciate when you speak in Japanese, even if it's uh, very difficult uh, for us. And we didn't know any words before coming here. So we searched the main words to try to bond with people here. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Also in the Ryokan, we stayed yesterday uh, people there didn't speak English mm. so we had to try to communicate in some ways <laughs> and we did it so it was good and yeah. so the kindness is uh, really uh, we really appreciate that what words did you learn uh, konnichiwa uh -huh. uh, arigato <laughs> and uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> and that's it, the three words. Three words, yes. Yeah. But, but we, we can live with that. Yeah. So <laughs> we can try. Yeah. And I think people like really appreciate when you do make an effort. Like, you don't have to speak perfect Japanese. No, no, just no. Yeah. yeah, you just have to try and then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe some English words, maybe with some Japanese words yeah. we can. Some actions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we can communicate <laughs> typical Italian ac uh, actions so we can do something. Good, lovely. And also the um, the safety of the of the country. Like mm. yeah, you can go around in, at yeah. four a.m. in the morning alone if you are a girl, mm. and nothing will happen to you. So it's really really nice. This yeah, that's yeah. a really good point. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any? Well, I think that is the main main point, and I like the difference between us. So they gave us a lot. So we can give them yeah. something else. Something yeah. else, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time today and uh, enjoy what sounds like a really wonderful holiday. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. You're natural. You've done this before, I know. <laughs>